Okay, so here we are with Jonathan Fye with Liberty Safes of Atlanta. Jonathan, I was wondering if you could tell me just a little bit about your company and what kind of pr products and services you offer. And we're gonna get into this in a little bit, but just a quick overview. Sure. So Liberty Safes of Atlanta, we're located over in Norcross, Georgia, right next to David's Gun Room. Uh, we've been in business since the 80s, since Liberty Safes actually started. Um, I've been with the company for two years, and we sell, of course, Liberty Safes. We also sell American Security Safes and their products, and their, of course, their vault doors right here. Okay, and what are, we, what are we looking at here? Is this something that's going to go into a security room, a hidden safe? What is this? So this right here is an American Security Vault door. Here, I'll take, I'll open it up real quick. And these right here, these can be custom made to for anyone that's making a panic room, panic room um, yeah. vault door, gun room, what have you. Or okay. you can even put it on the bathroom if you wanted to. Okay. So, <laughs> so with these right here, they come in swing or out swing. Uh, with AMSEC, they usually only come in one color, which is this black textured here. I believe they also do different colors as well if you wanted to. And um, these always come in mainly different sizes, but if you have a custom project that you have to fit, we can do that too. Okay, so we're gonna get into the security in a minute, but is this something that's typically gonna be, this particular one, it's gonna be typically hidden? This one, it can be hidden depending uh, if you wanna do like a, a hidden bookcase right behind it, or what have you. Uh, but sometimes a lot of people just have them in the basement and then there's a door right there and that's it. Okay. Okay, so we're moving on here. Can you tell me anything about, for a layman who knows nothing about safes, what makes a good safe, what makes a you know, not so good safe, what are these constructive, that kind of thing? So what makes a good safe versus a, an okay safe? So this right here is one of the top of the line safes you can get for residential uh, use. This here is American Securities. It's a new product called a BFX gun safe. I wanna come over this way. We can actually swing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Sure. So this is the American Security BFX 6636. Um, these, unlike other safes, these are actually with two, these are actually constructed with two pieces of steel, and in between the two pieces of steel is actually concrete. So that is pretty much why this is top of the line as far as fireproofing or security wise. Okay. What about as far as picking safes, picking locks? Uh, so as far as picking locks or anything like that, it'd be virtually impossible. You, it can be done. It takes a long time to do it. And it takes someone with a lot of knowledge on how these are constructed to do it. For this one, for example, uh, we've had a customer that had to drill, had a locksmith drill into the safe. Um, took about the locksmith about two days to get into it. He, had to get, he went through bits, through bits, through bits, and he finally got to the concrete. He's like, oh, I got to, oh, let me get another bit. And two days later, he's in the safe. Wow. That's what I call a safe safe. <laughs> sure is. So let's keep moving here. I noticed we're going to a bigger safe, and it's, I don't know, it's got gold. You know, <laughs> we're paying for that extra bling or whatever. I don't know. What can you tell me about this one? So this right here is, Amer I'm sorry, not America's game. So this right here is Liberty Safe's top of the line presidential 50 body size. So this right here is best of the best when it comes to Liberty Safe's. You get a nice velour interior. They come standard with lights, a dehumidifier, jewelry drawer box, and the up, what they call the upgraded door panel. So the dehumidifier, is that for the Cuban cigars or? <laughs> <laughs> Cuban cigars, papers, what have you. But, and for whatever reason, if you want to put groceries in there, you can. <laughs> Not <a> rattle weed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with these, the two and a half hour fire rating, seven gauge steel for the body. And the fireproofing material that they use is gypsum board, unlike the American Security, where they use concrete for fireproofing. So you raise a really good point. When you talk about fire rating, 
two and a half hours. What does that mean? So what does that mean, at least to my knowledge, is two and a half hour fire rating. It takes this for the inside of the safe. It takes roughly about two and a half hours for the inside of the safe to hit a certain temperature, which is usually about, I think it's 350 or 400 degrees. Okay. Once it hits that threshold, things can burn. Things can start burning or gotcha. things can start discoloring, depending on what you have in here. Okay. What am I missing, Jim? You got any questions? Uh, question B is, uh, what's it considered before you buy or install a safe as far as where you have to put it? How do you have to reinforce the floor? What should you be aware of if you're building a home and want to have a safe somewhere above grade? So when it comes to, depending what size you want to get, where you want to put it, take consideration, this is very important, can't stress this enough, take consideration of measurements of doorways, walkways, width-wise at the narrowest point, um, because a lot of safes can't fit through certain doorways. Um, another thing as far as where you're place, placing it on, if it's in a basement, concrete slab, of course you're fine. No worry about weight there. If you're on a second, third floor, with a wood subfloor, um, depending on the age of the house or what have you, it's best to actually get with an engineer or someone with that just to see, can I put this much weight on this section of the floor or where you want um, over time? Because I've had some customers where uh, they want a safe like this and where they want it is on the wood subfloor, second floor, and of course, it's it's kind of a no-go. In some cases where yeah, an engineer would say, yes, you could actually put that safe on that where you want it. However, they have to pass through this area where it will, you'll crack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the weight of these safes? So this one with the presidentials, this one's right here is roughly, this coming off the top of my head, about 1,600 pounds. And funny enough, that, one, that small one we were looking at earlier is about the same weight, just because of the concrete. Mm -hmm. Price range, what are we looking at typically for safes of this quality? So, rough price range on quality safes such as this one or the American Security BF, they're roughly starting at about $6,000 and they go up from there. But you're getting a phenomenal safe for what you want. So, again, it's like you heard it before, you get what you pay for. Okay. And you really get good stuff for what you pay for. Okay. Jonathan, I want to thank you so much for your time and good luck to you here at the show. Thank you, sir. Do appreciate it.